Topic three. You're here. Yeah. Comic book girl 19. Yeah. Introduction of somebody's just, they, they skip the other topics. Now they right. know who you are. It makes sense. I'm here. Uh, you know a lot about superhero movies. Mm-hmm. You critique them over on your YouTube channel. I do. I want to talk about what the best superhero movie of all time is. Of all time. Mm. Right. I feel like when you say that, there's you, a couple movies that come to mind. Batman that v Superman be, Ultimate Edition. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. A couple come to mind you that you're like, more? all right, this is at least, you want more? Yeah. this is going to be the discussion that we have, right? Yeah. Spider-Man 2, Ooh, yeah. Avengers, uh, Dark Knight, um, X two, yeah. um, X two. I'm gonna put it out there. I mean, I'm talking I about. Wa- I want to be. I want to talk about it, but I would always put out Superman two. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Now here, I think the problem with all the Richard Donner Superman movies, and I think Superman one in particular, is that it fucks Superman up forever. Period. Great movie, great time. Hey, the guy can rewind time. He's no longer an interesting character. And like, even when they went like, Crisis on Infinite Earths, he's not that powerful. Everybody's like, that's that guy that can rewind time. And they're like, no, it isn't. It's not the same <laughs> no. guy. Like, no, no, it's the guy who can rewind time. But um, Superman 2 was great. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Modern standards, it doesn't hold up at all. Yeah. I want to fuck Lois. I, I don't have any powers. Oh, God, a whole <laughs> bunch of people are back and they're going to fuck everything up. Yeah. But it's still great. I want to put it out there. I'm just putting it out there. I mean, I'm just talking about right now, just like the list of if you were to Google what yeah. are the best comic book right. movies, like the things that every list are going to have are those. Am I missing any? I feel like people really like Guardians of the Galaxy now. Oh, for, yeah. for the record, yeah. we're recording this before Suicide Squad, so I'm saying Suicide Squad. Right. No, no uh, <laughs> something tells me that's not going to make fun of either. We'll um, see. Man, we know. We know. We'll yeah. see. Do y'all, do y'all hate Watchmen? Oh, Watchmen deserves okay. a shout out for sure. I don't hate Watchmen. I, I enjoyed I, Watchmen I, quite a bit. I really, really liked Watchmen. I really yeah. liked Watchmen too. I, I, I think Watchmen's a little problematic. I think that there's certain scenes that I really love. Mm-hmm. Like there's... Um, they're fucking like, on the, on the, in the owl mobile or whatever. <laughs> yeah. With Hallelujah um, playing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. But, all, like, but even that opening sequence uh, with comedian, you know, being yeah. assassinated. Like, I mean, that was just, like ripped right out of the comics yeah. and it was so great. But the problem I have with Scott Snyder is he does a great job of making things Zach, look... Zach. Or Zack Snyder. No, we were just talking about I Scott know, in the last segment. Like, no, I do my, it all the time. Get my time. streams crossed here. Um, Zack Snyder. The problem I have with him is, uh, you know, he makes things look really great. I think he's an amazing director of photography. Yeah. But he doesn't always understand what makes those images powerful, mm-hmm. like why they're powerful. Like, for instance, in The Watchmen, there's this one part where, okay, so in the comic book, you see that uh, Bubastis the cat, like Ozymandias' cat, yeah, yeah. that's like his only friend. Like, this guy's like a lonely cat, dude, you know? And like, that's his only friend. <laughs> lonely cat, man. Like, there's even like, there's like a, like a, a Bubastis little action figure. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a thing, right? It's his dude. And so, spoilers, watching spoilers, uh, there's a scene in the end where everyone goes to confront Ozymandias and then he sacrifices his cat to try to get rid of Dr. Manhattan. Mm-hmm. And when I was reading that comic, I was like, he, he killed his cat. Like, and that's the one dude that he loves and that loves him like this is and like i'm a cat person so it's like you get it (laughs) like i got it you know do this and so you see in the movie though it's like you never get that sense of like what's like you see it like it's there he's in the disintegrator with the cat but it doesn't have that emotional impact because it wasn't set up you know so you know it's like i think it looks great but i don't think it has the emotional impacts and plus it just doesn't need to be made into a movie you know, mm. yeah. I mean, I think that's the biggest problem because what you're talking about is it's hard to nail every single aspect, right? Like, mm-hmm. I think I feel like I give Watchmen credit because I think that it nailed enough really well, and I personally like the movie better than the the book when it comes to a lot like the end well, the and ending, stuff yeah. like that. And uh, that's another thing with uh, we always talk about Kick Ass. I think Kick Ass, oh, yeah. oh, the yeah. movie, did a really good job of nailing the tone and feel oh, yeah. of the book, but I actually prefer the movie over the book, even though the book is awesome and I love it. Oh, I'm gonna agree with you on that one. I prefer the movie over the book on Kick-Ass. Yeah, they just, they, because I feel like they they captured the vibe, which is the most important part, because you can't directly um, communicate all the same things that you can when it's just using your imagination on a panel, you know? Or even just like the themes and stuff of reading change when you're watching, you know? Sure. So shout out to kick ass. I kick put ass, that yeah, up there. Kick is a great yeah, one. I think you nail it. I mean, in terms of, I mean, uh, my pick, and it's I and I always talk about this. It's a cheat code, right? It's a cheat. But I, the best superhero movie or comic book movie of all time is Avengers, and I, and I say it, and I know that it's a cheat because I feel like we had whatever. What would it have been? Not ten, six hours of you know fucking foreplay before we got there, and then to <laughs> have it all come together and be. I always talk about it like that is the definitive. 
uh, midnight showing for me of like an audience that's into every, and I'm not the Marvel guy. Like I only know them from the movies really with the exception of Spider-Man. I was a big Spider-Man fan growing up up until clone saga. When I dropped out, I was like, <laughs> well, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. That's when you fucked up the Peter, fine. Mary Jane thing. I was like, I gotta go. I gotta go. But I mean, to watch that show and have everybody losing it, I'll never, ever, 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 ever forget mm-hmm. when the credits go and then they do the Thanos cutscene and the girl in front of me jumping up and doing the Kermit, the frog. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I'm like, I just know him as knockoff Dark Side, but I'm glad you're really <laughs> like, that's fucking. Right. But getting to the street with Damon, and we went and saw that midnight showing, and I couldn't stop grinning. And I remember that because there's three movies I can think of that have done that, where it was in my lifetime: Avengers with Damon, Spider Man Two, which I saw when I was so, I, I liked Spider Man One so much, even for all its flaws or whatever. And I was ready for Spider Man Two, and I always hate the origin story movie because I'm like, yeah, I got it, just go, just go. So when we, we know get, we get to Spider Man Two, and it's like he's full blown Spider Man, da da. And then she's like, go get him, Tiger. It was like, oh my god, yes, thank you for finally doing everything I wanted you to do in this movie because I was such bullshit of like, oh, it can't be with this woman, da da. And every movie fucking does it. Yeah. Uh, I remember leaving the theater because I was I was doing my internship out in um Rockville, Maryland leaving the theater and calling my girlfriend at the time. And like, I had the grin on my face and like, I was like, that movie was awesome. That movie was so much fun. Da da. And the other one I was talking about is of ghostbusters two. When I was a little kid in the theater with my mom and like when the logo comes up, I just w- couldn't stop grinning. And I was like, I want to try for some reason. I forget what it's 1989. So what I'm, six years old Dude. I'm like I want to play it cool wait, I don't want to grin like a moron Ghostbusters 2 love because like I've had so many arguments about Ghostbusters 2 a lot of people have a lot of hate especially director T-Bone we were always fighting about yeah. and I was like no, dude. Like they were my friends, and I was just happy to see him. Exactly. Again. And I love that evil painting and yeah. the goo, and I love that you can make the goo happy. Like you yeah. can charge it with positive vibes as yeah, well yeah. as negative yeah. vibes, and like, oh, it's, it's so good. It was funny. Statue of Liberty. I, people always say, "Oh man, Ghostbusters Two was terrible." And I'm like, it, it wasn't bad. It was. It was a fun. Movie. And then I watched that honest trailer where they're like, "If you for Ghostbusters Two, like if you if you're afraid of the new Ghostbusters root, <laughs> if you're afraid of the new the 2016 Ghostbusters root." sequel ruining the original then make sure you forget about the 1989 Ghostbusters sequel really good, really and they go through they're like they totally I never thought about it because I'm not that guy like I always talk about it. I don't think I should be on our movie reacts product right because I just don't think analytically about movies like yeah. I do about games and when I'm watching this trailer they're like it's the same story I'm like no it isn't and they go it and is, I'm like oh is, fuck it is <laughs> the same story it is the same story but I think that Sometimes though, when you do it the second time around, you get it tighter. And I felt like I I liked it. I like it. It was just totally it. a move for kids, which they understood their audience. Yep. And that that coat and it came alive on that woman. Oh yeah, yeah. Minx. Something like, strange so is happening. Like, I loved it. I don't know. It just got it got me right sure. here. So Janos, I love come on. Ghostbusters yeah. too. I saw him in some trailer for something the other night when we went to see Killing Joke. I'm like Janos. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I love him. I think Avengers, you're right, is the in terms of the best comic book movie because it is. We're never going to get something that nails comic books in quite that same way. That is such a just melding of it's the event, you know what I yeah. mean? Like it's the event comic book brought to life, and it had so many moments that made us happy. They did what we wanted. The the 360 shot sure. showing everybody off. Oh man, the, the shot going through the city of everybody doing their moves and stuff. It's like I mean, cool. Every Hulk moment, right? That's every, my secret. Oh, I'm always yeah. angry. Poof, yeah. You're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. And they, yeah. they, 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 moment after moment in the second half of that movie was just yeah, like yeah. payoff, payoff, yeah, payoff, right, payoff, right, right. you know? And then the, and the, even the, like the whole thing of, you know, Tony dying and falling and then like, they, you know, I was expecting, it, I love, I feel like it's so rare that comic book movies surprise you. Right, I was talking about it when I was watching Ant Man, and they kept fucking like focusing on Michael Douglas's tank on his chain. And I leaned over to who I was and like, "I bet that tank's gonna be important." <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. It's like when Tony Stark's there, and they're like, they're all about to give up. I really expect Thor to swing his hammer and call a lightning bolt down, but instead Hulk roars, and it's like this funny moment. It was great, and then the shawarma thing, and then the shawarma. Th- it was like, "Fuck you guys, get this." Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Joss Whedon. I mean, that's yeah. the magic of Joss Whedon. Exactly. Like, he does get it. He's a real comic book dork guy, and he loves it, and he nailed it, and they just they, it was the perfect storm. But yeah. unfortunately, like I don't know, I feel bad for him for Avengers two. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I don't think that was his fault. I think that no, the studio he wanted He's him about to it. do so much crap, and he did everything they wanted him to do, and it wasn't that great because Ultron's kind of boring. Well, see, well, honestly, though, Avengers two's biggest problem was what we were talking about in the last topic about comic book, uh, yeah, just comic books, and that the events, and we like these comics, and all of a sudden, all this shit has to get shoehorned in. So. We're, who's a movie that we're enjoying and all of a sudden Thor's off in a mountain? Right. Why? I don't know. He's in a cave. Look in the water or Doing something. some stuff in the water. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it's saying something else. And it's like that distracts from the focus. Whereas Avengers, yeah. the focus was get them together, 
do cool shit. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not excited about like Infinity Gauntlet stuff, to be honest, because I feel like it's going to be one of those events where it's just going to yeah. like ruin what we already have that's going that we like. And yeah. then it's just going to. This is I mean, this is my problem with the, like, you know, I caught a lot of flack with our own audience for Civil War. Yeah. We're like, I'm not the Marvel guy. And mm-hmm. so like I always talk about it when you correct me, you're enough to set me straight. Uh, the what uh, Winter Soldier ended with uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet yep. Witch, right? And my girlfriend. No, 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 no. That was Avengers 2. Was it really? No, no, they're Avenger. in, they're in Wait, Avengers hold on. too. It's yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Captain and my, and my, my girlfriend at the time, we never was like, the lights come up, she's like, oh man, who are those people then? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I can tell you their names, no idea what their fucking powers yeah. are, what their history is. And so like, we're to that point now where it's like, it gets so off in the weeds where Civil War, I'm like, I'm just not a Captain America fan. And I can't, and I feel bad about saying that because it's like, everybody who's always like, Superman's so boring. I'm like, well, that's why Captain America's boring. He does, you're, everything you're saying is the same thing, the problem with him. He's just always doing this thing. That, and like, so like, <laughs> I always make this talk about this, like. In this, we're watching Civil War. I'm 30 minutes in. I lean over to Tim. I'm like, where the fuck is Spider-Man? I paid for Spider-Man. And then Spider-Man shows up and it's like, oh, so like this entire segment and Ant-Man and everything's amazing. And then uh, they're like, okay, uh, you guys keep fighting. We're going to go to off and do our thing. I'm like, no, don't, don't leave her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, it's like now we're to Infinity Gauntlet. Finally, I'm so fucking, I, the Avengers. Oh my God, Thanos. I don't know much about him, but that's really cool. And now I'm just like, fucking Jesus, do something, Thanos. What are you doing? I know. It's just like, I don't care. And like, I just don't like omnipotent villains. Like, Mm. I like things like Civil War a lot better than things like Infinity Gauntlet, whatever, because it's like, it's an internal problem and it's a family fight. And that's why I love the X-Men. And like, I think those are far more compelling, interesting style. Like, you know, ideological discussions are far more interesting to me than I've got a, a glove that makes me omnipotent. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just like, well, bleh, you know. Yeah. See, bleh. I'm I'm excited for it just because I think that it's the the first chance that we're getting to do what Avengers did, which is bring all the characters together for the first time. And I think that Civil War kind of did a, the mini version of that right. for the Phase yeah. Two. But now that we have the Guardians and, the, and we're, we're getting, about to get Doctor Strange and like Ant Man's a bigger thing and all this, like people. Ant Man is now a thing. Ant Man's no Ant-Man. longer. He's no longer. People love Ant Man, but love going it. into it, it's like I don't know if Ant Man's gonna work. And it's like, well, it worked. So I think Fuck that you, it worked great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Infinity War is gonna be the first time to see all of them together and yeah. to get you know uh, Star Lord talking to Tony Stark and to, like that. That'll I think cool. is gonna really, have really those special cool. moments. And then you need the the big bad guy to kind of allow all that to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like whatever. And it taking forever. I think that that is just the, the, the culminating story. I, that it's they just that needed. weird thing, I guess of like the lead up to Avengers. Even when I watched captain America, I was like, I've never really liked this character. I like this movie. I love Chris Evans. I love the, you know, this interplay there, the whole Peggy thing, whatever. Like you fucking get over it, dude. You, you, you know what I mean? Has she, he, has he had laid though yet still? Like, is he still a virgin? When, yeah, no, at the, why? Well, uh, yeah, I don't, I think he's, he, he needs to get laid. In the next thing he might've gotten laid. <laughs> yeah. World he's with, War I'm going to imagine he got like, laid in between like what's happening right now. Yeah, exactly. With uh, what's her face? I forgot Peggy's her name. Cousin, yeah. daughter, Susan. news, yeah. Susan. Nephew, niece. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's like, that's the whole thing is I guess even the movie, like I, I'm not a Thor guy. I'm very, I'm I have a bunch of picky rules where it's like yeah. once you get into space and you're an alien, I'm like, nah, it's hard for me to That's connect fine. with you. You're I don't not like a that. Dude, man. Exactly. <laughs> but it's like I enjoyed Thor fine or whatever. And so when we get to Avengers, I'm like, I've enjoyed the ride till now. Whereas now I feel like we're in this gap where I'm like, I'm not really enjoying this ride. Like Doctor Strange, I look at him, it's like, I don't see that's so funny because the original movies I felt like were very kind of I wasn't necessarily enjoying the ride. Like getting in there, Thor surprised me that it wasn't bad. Yeah. I went into it thinking it was gonna be horrible. Iron Man. Oh my god! I think Come people. On. I Iron think Man people, One is great. Yeah, it is great, so but I good. think I think people look back at it like a little bit, giving it a little too much bonus points. Like I think that it, it's. But I, th- I don't it's think really it's really good. I don't think it's looking back with bonus points. I think it's looking back with the points you gave it at the time because you can't. I we that was the real one of like like Ant Man. Over like, everybody's like, who? The, nobody cares about Iron Man. Are yeah. you fucking kidding yeah, me? He's yeah. a, he's True. A and you went in. You went in. You watched that movie, and I'll never forget. And again, being surprised. Where again, like I know he's an alcoholic. And I know he's you got the suit and whatever. And that's all I really knew about Iron Man at the time. And you watch that thing and he gets to the end for that press conference and he's, he does the thing. I am Iron Man. And the things. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, shit, that was awesome. Holy yeah. fuck am I excited. And, and then, then they Samuel did, Jackson then they comes the out and you're like, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, but see, that was cool because that started the conversation in the mainstream of is is he talking about Avengers? Is that what the, this initiative is? Is it, Who is in the Avengers? Then yeah, everyone's yeah. Googling it and figuring yeah. it out. I'm like, oh, Ant-Man's in the Avengers. How are they going to do it? No, and there yeah, was yeah. conversation happening. But then we got the, there was the Hulk movie. Literally, like, was it like the same week? When I went to see Iron Man, I remember the Hulk was in the theater next to it. Really? really? I don't think yeah. that was. I, it might have been like a month before, Wait, but then. The Edward Norton? 
Yeah. Yeah. No. Wasn't it? No, I, I swear. Wrong. I swear to God, they're in the theater at the same time. It might have been uh, months off, but I, I swear. Did you go to like a shitty dollar theater? Or no, yeah. it was at the uh, Daily City Theater. Anyways, the um, but the, the whole no, movie, it here. was fine, right? Yeah, and then, I they, I, fine. Yeah. Thor, surprising because it wasn't bad. Captain America. It was all right. I think Captain America has aged well, where it's like, yeah. I, I think I like it more now than I did then. Oh, yeah. But it wasn't until Avengers that I'm like, this is awesome. The, yeah. Here's the payoff. They were all, all right. I think that the individual movies now are better than they used to be. Like mm-hmm. I think there's a couple of exceptions, like Iron Man 2. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Man yeah. 3. He's not crazy so far. <laughs> Both came out in 2008. I don't yeah. know how well, you that is that like a lot of properties that are coming out have to win people over where it's like Ant-Man. Who cares about Ant-Man? And then we watch it and it's like, wow. I they care about Ant-Man. I care a lot about Ant-Man. Yeah. And then Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy. It's like the Guardians, same thing man. where it's like, Killed it. who gives a fuck about these people? But then it's like, oh, wait, no. Somebody wrote a good story and they made it a good movie and now we're seeing it. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, well, it's I mean, I think it's May 2nd for Iron Man, June 13th for Incredible Hulk. There you go. Yeah, it does check wow. out. There you it does go. check wow. out. Yeah. We thought wow. you were an idiot, but you actually had crazy. it. I no, can't I believe that. I really. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but, but so that's the thing is like we're looking at the there's phase two. I guess now we're in. Is it now phase three? When I don't even try to keep up. I don't I even no fucking know. Keep up anymore. But it's like with Doctor Strange. That's a perfect example. I don't care about Doctor Strange. I've read all the Ultimate comics, so that's my only yeah. kind of you know touchstone on his character or whatever. And I don't know how faithful that is to the six one six stuff. But he the the trailer. I saw the first one. I'm like, all right, I'm as sold on this as I was on Thor. And now I saw the second trailer at Comic Con. I'm like, I'm a little bit more sold on this. this I haven't seen the second trailer. So this, I was like, okay. this might be an Ant Man. This might be a yeah. Guardian. So that's exciting. And I'm I'm pretty damn sure that I'm gonna lose my shit seeing Doctor Strange in Avengers eventually. You know, because mm. they're they're gonna oh, do yeah. that moment, yeah. and oh, it's yeah. gonna be fucking cool. Oh yeah, you're gonna need that magic, homie. If you're gonna be fighting Thanos and all that nonsense, you're gonna need, you need a Sorcerer shit. Supreme on yeah. your team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> saying. But I I gotta give the shout out to Dark Knight. I know we talk about it so much in the show, but in terms I mean, we of- We haven't talked about it at all. This episode- I mentioned called, it. No, okay. But, uh, but my, the best comic book movie, I think goes to Avengers because of the comic book stuff. But Dark Knight, I think transcends that and just goes into, Dark Knight's just a good movie. It happens to be using comic book characters. Yeah. Sure, sure. So course, I feel like even when we talk about, um, and it, these are all just labels that don't really mean anything, but like Dark Knight Returns, what's the difference between, is it a comic book or is it a graphic novel? Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like Dark Knight- uh, is the graphic novel the best graphic novel movie? And yeah, there's been a couple yeah. of those that are that are really good. I, again, I, I do think Watchmen's great, and um, 300 for what it is is what it is. But like, uh, I think Dark Knight stands alone as like, man, this is just this is going to go down as one of the best movies of all time. I remember, I remember uh, the story about that goes that it was it came out the Friday of E3, and I didn't go see it because I wanted to get home and see it with my girlfriend at the time. And I remember I texted Roper as soon as the show ended. And I was like, what did you think? And he goes, if this doesn't win every Oscar possible. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. And then I watched it. I was like, oh, man, this was amazing. This yeah. was fucking amazing. Oh, man, that movie was nuts. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember seeing that in the theater and just like, it was like, what is I rem- this? Yeah. Being genuinely creeped out by Ledger's Joker the first time oh, he man. really comes out and he slams the dude's so head on the pencil. And you're like, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, and you just like God. look at his mouth multiple yeah, times yeah, on yeah, like yeah. pills, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just like, oh. You, he was great. That movie was great. But I mean, that's the thing is they nailed the Dark Knight Batman in the way that uh, Avengers nailed the Marvel yeah. popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, also, I mean, it's also Christian Bale, too. I mean, oh, yeah, I, mean, I think there's that movie. I can't believe how all. mean history has been to him. I know. Now that we're at Bat Fleck and everybody's like, man, and yeah, and yes. Bale was like, and I was like, we fucking loved Bale when Bale was being Bale. Like, let's not be. A- we love Bale, all right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> get out of here. Don't get me wrong, Dark Knight Rises sucked, but everything. I mean, he was fine, man. I mean, it's, it's, but that wasn't his fault. Yeah, exactly. Like, why? Why, why is Batman walking around in a stark white room? Why is he fighting people in slow motion? What is going on? Yeah, yeah. Batman. I like Rises. Colin's not here to stop me. I like Rises a lot. Someone needs to. Yeah. You need to be stopped. Um, Rises is not nearly as bad as everybody says it is. Not nearly. And when I I say everybody, I mean the vocal minority on the internet because honestly, that movie is good. It's a good movie. It's just not The Dark Knight and it's not Begins. Yeah. But as an end cap to that So I made this comment on our uh, one of our Batman v Superman reactions that we've done way too many. Don't do this again. That Batman v Superman is a better movie than Dark Knight Rises. So 
Fox. Whoa. And, yeah. and everybody's like, so this yeah. is the bullshit and I got to like, deal prove with. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. And I want you to know that I've literally been on Amazon before with the controller in hand, like, <laughs> psyching myself up to fucking buy Dark Knight Rise. I'm like, I can't do it. I hate this movie. Yeah. I don't want to sit Whoa. here for three hours. Like, oh, oh, I, you know, I haven't seen it since the theaters. I mean, I haven't felt the need to see it. But, you know, I probably should rewatch it. I feel like, you know, maybe, I don't know. I, I should try it again. I, I'm, I'm like on the fence. I'm neutral. I'm yeah. neutral. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just, it, the story goes is that we we had gone to visit PlayStation the day before I saw it. They uh, People have seen it at midnight and I didn't see it. And one of the guys I was talking to, I don't agree. His name's Sid. Great dude. I don't always agree with him on video games. Yeah. And he was like, it's so bad. It is this. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'm, and I'm the DC, you know, apologist. <laughs> so I'm like, well, whatever. I don't agree with Sid on video <laughs> games. I'm sure it won't be that. And I'm watching this and I lean over to my date. And I'm just like. This is really bad, right? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, what's happening? What's happening? I don't what understand that. Me and Kevin went and we literally, after the movie, went and parked in front of my house. We were just like, that was the best trilogy of all time. Yep. Like, I can't believe. And again, we're not saying it's the best of Trilogies the movies. It's hard to do. No, I know, but, I know. But, I know, but I know. as a trilogy, they just, they nailed they, the whole they, thing. Yeah. Like, I, it's so crazy to me that like people could dislike it that much. Like, and I think the problem is we're at a point now, and especially that movie. This is like your Ghostbusters too. It might be. It is. <laughs> but uh, that that movie when it it came out that year was I think the be real beginning of the influx of comic book mm -hmm. movies where it was cool to not like comic book movies anymore and to be super critical of everything happening because like we're at a point now where how is it possible that you watch Civil War and weren't just absolutely in love with it? Yeah. And it's because we just have so much. I, and you know? I, don't get me wrong, I. I, like, I was asking you about, you know, like when you got into comics or, you know, was it hard for you to find up here? Because that was my story of yeah. being super alienated. I remember I was just talking to somebody I'm dating and I was telling her the story of like when I was getting ready to go to college. What a big deal. I was so hopeful to find people that liked comics and video games and maybe a girl that did <laughs> like those things too. You know what I mean? Of like, yeah, it was, yeah. in, in my high school, I'm the only person who gives a shit about any of this. Mm -hmm. And I like, cause I like it in such a different way. And so, yeah, to get to these points where it's just like, if you were to look back and talk to Greg Miller in high school and be like, there's a Gotham show and there's a Green Arrow show and there's a Flash show and there's a Supergirl show and there's this yeah. and you only watch like one of them and the other one you kind of watch and the other you just don't like and I would be like what because I remember distinctly long hair Superman post death and return uh, fighting somebody fought into I think might have been fighting Toy Man and they fought into a toy store and the toy store was lined from wall to wall with DC action figures and I was like I want to live in that world. And I don't even care that I get crushed maybe by somebody throwing a car or whatever. And it was this. And then you jump ahead to now. There's so much of it. And when I was, I went back to Missouri two years ago or whatever. And I'm walking around with my college friends and they're two kids. And they wanted to go buy baseball bats because they're fucking these kind of losers that play sports. And we cut down one of these aisles. And it was literally like I'm like walking. I'm like. Oh my God, it's happened. And I look at it, it's just like, it's it's Fisher Price, like, you know, toys for, and they have like random weirdo, they have a Mr. Mixelplick and they have a fucking right. dark side and you're like, how does, and none of them care. And I grab them like, you must understand, you have to start playing with these. Like, that's my thing is like, you know, all this shit's blowing up, but then like X-Men are fucked, you know? And I'm like, where's my X-Men merch? Like, <laughs> no, like, I'm fucked, you know? So and we, you mentioned it, but a big shout out to X2. Well, so I want, I want your thoughts on this. So the X-Men movies, as the mm -hmm. X-Men purist, I think that might be where you're, it's a, you're, well, you I can't think, like them. I mean, yeah, I'm an asshole for sure. X-Men 2 is like the closest, yes. you know, like I think that that's the most solid one. Like, God, that opening, like, Nightcrawler. The opening crawler. is fucking killer. Uh. Like when I saw it in the theater, I was like, oh, <laughs> like I was losing my fucking mind. Um, I love, I love that opening sequence, but it's just, I don't like the singer verse. I don't like Brian Singer's tone. I don't like the how depressing and it's black and it's blue and no one's ever having fun and no one wants to use her powers. And like, you know, in X-Men three rogues story conclusion is she gets rid of her powers and we're supposed to be happy for her. Yeah, like what's no, X3, going on? X3, like, no, let's just pretend that. And, no. well, and, then, and, and I can't believe yeah. they're still going because you had like X-Men one, which was like, okay, for its time, it was starting it was off it a was. whole bunch of stuff. And like, it really helped like kick off the whole superhero movie totally thing. Did. Totally did. I totally give it that. But if you look at it, it's like X-Men Amateur Hour. It's like, sure. it doesn't have a good budget. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. not a lot of great fights. Like, whatever. And then we get to the second one. It's like, all right, we're doing better. And then the third one's like garbage. And then the and then you have the Wolverine movie that came out that was garbage. And I was like, 
and and another Wolverine movie that was kind of like, Bleh. like I don't really like this either. And so, yeah, which one right. is that? is that the one where the he, Japan, the Japan one? Yeah, one? Yeah, okay, that was all right. But I liked it. This first class came out first. Like, right? Why didn't they lean into the costume? Why did they cut out the costume bit? That would have saved some. Well, the thing is, is that Hugh Jackman's not going to look right in that freaking costume because you he doesn't to be have short. to use it. He, he can just look at it and be like, oh fuck it. Well, yeah, I I've, and I've heard your whole Hugh Jackman rant before. It's, you want your you, Hugh Jackman to, too fuckable, I believe is yeah, your quote. Yeah, he, well, he's, he's a Hollywood Wolverine, and you know what? Trust me, like I mean, he's hot. Don't get me wrong. Like oh, yeah, I've had really thoughts about him, but like <laughs> I think that I want to see an angry, short, little hairy man. You know, Nick. like Nick. Yep. No, Nick. Have you heard her pitch for who she wants for? <laughs> no, give it to him. Okay, so I got to go back in time. I got to get a time machine. I got to go back in time. I got to get a bunch of HGH and some steroids. Start feed it to Bob Hoskins. All right? Oh my Can God. <laughs> Oh, How good this show would be! <laughs> like get him really ripped, and then yeah, like transport him, and then he's Wolverine. I think that that, that would. would be awesome. Awesome. When I nailed Mario. When I heard you, when I heard you say that, I was like, "Fuck, that's a great pick." Like for that would be great. I I don't know because that's the oh thing. Okay, so you have like, I've been a lot of thinking about the X Men, and you have that big, you know. Gene and Scott and Wolverine thing and everyone's always like well, why isn't she with Wolverine you know everyone always asks themselves that question and it's like well because he's like five foot three and he's a hairy angry little crazy dude that you can't take to a party because he's gonna have a bad attitude and like yeah. ruin something and then he's either gonna kill you or Sabretooth is gonna kill you like yeah you mentioned that every Wolverine of, girlfriend dies like there's <laughs> a lot of shit that comes along with like hooking up with Wolverine so you know of course you would pick Scott Summers like he's gonna he's a rock he's gonna be there he's a better boyfriend man Material, you know, even though I feel like Scott and Gene kind of activate each other's I don't know, negative, then they're, they're not great together either. Because sure. I feel like Gene with Wolverine, even though he's crazy and hairy and weird, he would like give her a place to express her dark side, you know, like mm. and they could do some stuff together. Whereas with Scott, she's trying to be a good girl all the time, and then yeah. that's not going to work out. And then she's going to go Dark Phoenix, and it's crazy. Oh, so yeah. you know, it's a whole no, thing. No, it's not in the end. It's a whole thing. The Wolverine sex is probably better too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I really like that movie. Oh, so oh. good, so good. So, so yeah. glad you brought that up. Yeah. Scott so Pilgrim, I would up. say, is probably. I mean, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm-hmm. But the problem with it is what I was saying earlier about Watchmen is that because it's a movie, there's limitations to it. Mm-hmm. That movie needed to be an hour longer because it's great the first forty five minutes or whatever, and then they go from X one. Yeah. There's seven X's, right? X one, give them some time. X two, cool. X three, four, five, six, seven. You just like total wrap up and like yeah. in, in almost like a montage, and uh, that it it makes it feel really rushed and incomplete. And I feel like the the books allowed it to really breathe, maybe a bit too much. Mm-hmm. But uh, I I would have loved to even a part one and part two of the movie. I think could have serviced that a lot better to really make it like stand out. But that's a, a movie theater experience where I'm like. Oh, yeah. I can't believe this movie is happening. I yeah. can't believe I'm hearing the the fairy theme from Zelda, and I can't yeah. believe like the transition effects and like that movie is the type of movie I want to make. The frenetic style, oh man, like it's just I it's love so Edgar good. Wright, yeah. Edgar so Wright is yeah. just yeah. Can man, you imagine his, his Ant Man? Oh. Oh, I know. No. Every time I talk about Edgar Wright, it's like damn. Because you can see amazing. it in Ant Man. You can see the moments that yeah. were his, like all those the conversations, yeah, were like, the, yeah, the, all the stuff with like Anna or whatever when they yeah, cut yeah, away yeah. and somebody's talking. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah. god, that was good, yeah. Yeah. dude. I'm so stoked on Wasp. <laughs> like oh, I oh, yeah. like because in the Marvel universe, there's not a lot of chicks that like I'm into. Like Black Widow, I don't know. She's kind of a, like a liar spy lady. Like sure. I don't know if I can deal with that. And then you Plus have, she's sterile. Yeah, she's not cool. JK. Scarlet yeah. Witch, uh, I don't Too know. Far. She's, I don't know. I don't. I, don't I, like, I like Scarlet Witch, but like in the movies, she's a little. Eh. And then Captain or uh, Captain Marvel coming out. I don't. She's too, she's in the army and stuff. I don't know. I'm really excited to see what they do. With I'm that, excited. With I like see, I like Brie a lot, but I don't like identify. With sure, her, no, you know. But it's like I can get behind some wasp business. Yeah. I want to mm. see more like because I heard that the title of the new Ant Man movie is Ant Man and, and the Wasp. And the wasp. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. like, yes. I like that severe bob and the business lady coats. As you know, I hate prognosticating. But do you think that Spider-Man Homecoming, if we did this topic in two years, would be in the running for the best? Super no. Movie? No? I don't think it can. Because, again, I God, think... God, he I, was so good in Civil War. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. I think, I think the movie's going to be fantastic. But I think it's going to face the thing of just... We've, there's so much movies that if Civil War didn't make it, Spider-Man's not going to make it. Civil War is fucking See, fantastic. And I hear this. This is probably my. You know, it's so rare. I, this is always the fun thing about talking about Marvel movies, where I get to be the mainstream. Whereas, like you know, DC, we finish Batman. I'm like, did you love when Flash came back in time? <laughs> and the old man, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking. About. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> like for this one, where I feel like it's probably. It, I I think for me it will be 
Because if they bend it and it's like, hey, it's Spider-Man and Tony Stark will be here and Michael fucking Keaton's going to be the vulture or whatever. It's like, yeah, if you can keep the tone you had in what you had in Civil War and bring that over. Great. Yeah. Because I'm totally biased to the fact of like, I just don't like Captain America that much as much as I try. Yeah. I mean, I, I trust me. I think that movie is going to be fantastic, but I, I don't know if it's going to. I think it's going to be too, too small to hit this, this type of conversation Spider-Man too small. Yeah, well, I know, right? Because uh, it's like when we were, all the movies that we're listing, they all have something about them that makes them stand out. Avengers is the culmination thing. Dark Knight is the story sure. of it, right? We talked about Spider-Man 2, though. Yeah, but Spider-Man 2 was only good because it was the first good thing, right? No, but I mean, it was it was good because we didn't have to worry about the origin. If we don't have to worry about the origin homecoming, and it's just like, all right, cool, I'm Spider-Man, yeah. Uncle Ben died, and da 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 and now I'm going to go do Spider-Man stuff, and I'm in high school, we'll and see. this is fun. We'll see. I, I don't know if it can... Uh, you think Spider-Man's he's gonna top a, Spider-Man too? Uh, oh yeah, I, I think this is gonna be the best Spider-Man well, movie. It's ever one of those things when you go back. I feel like when you go back and watch Spider-Man two, it doesn't hold up as much. Yeah, and I, don't know, I watched it. I watched it not too long ago, and it's really yeah. solid. It's yeah. really solid. Like Sam Raimi did a Sam great Raimi job. Sam Raimi, and that was the whole thing of like when I remember God. God damn it, do I remember being duped on Spider-Man 3 where I was yeah. just like, uh, seems like a lot of characters, but I trust you, Sam Raimi. Go for it. Here's my problem with it is... That was studio interference. Fucker. You can't, you yeah. can't give Sam Raimi... Spider-Man 2 is, is, a, is a great movie, but my problem is it's not a great Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man is not Spider-Man. Peter Parker is not Peter Parker. I Why think isn't he? Just because he's the, the, the quips and stuff. Where are they? They're not in that movie. Well, there's different types of Peter Parker yeah. though and they were playing like a more 60s kind of Peter Parker like they were like who's literally no one's favorite Peter Parker well but that's what they were doing and I feel like they translated that tone very well but it isn't the like the it isn't the quippy one. one but I mean like I, I still totally dug like there, when he's like well, you know, when he goes to the doctor and the guy's like, well, you know, maybe you don't need to be Spider-Man well, you don't need to be climbing up those walls and like the, co- the car rolls by and he's like Drink, eating ice cream. I, yeah. I, uh, what's there's raindrops. Yeah. Fall, yeah. And I'm, like that entire montage was awesome. And then yeah, when Mary Jane gets stolen, he does like the fucking epic. Boom, drops his glasses. Like that's fucking great. And Doc Ock was so good. Yeah, no, for that, sure. Man, Alfred Molina was great. Mm. And I love that scene in the the operating theater scene. It was just like so Evil Dead. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Right? Like the fucking snap yeah, zooms and like fucking like, uh, claws uh, and shit. And then clawing the floors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. So yeah, good. yeah. I like. Can I can I admit a movie that it's not very great, but I like it? Howard the Duck. Uh, no, no. <laughs> the Shadow. Oh my God! Oh, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I remember. I remember Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I've never seen that. Man, that. you should watch it. Mm. It's uh. <laughs> you should watch it. It's got Tim Who knows? Curry in it. Shadow Tim knows. Curry. Yeah, it's got Tim Curry in it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's pretty ridiculous, but I think it holds. Like it's it's very like okay. Here's my thing about bad movies. I like bad movies with good pacing. You know, oh, okay. it's like there's a lot of movies out there like as long as it has good pacing, like, all right, great. Yeah. And that's one of those movies where it's a little cheesy, a little whatever. But the pacing is so great. And Alec Baldwin was at his prime. That was, so, that, that was I mean, definitely I know you guys prime. aren't on the same wavelength on Alec Baldwin as I am. No, I trust me. I am. Yeah. I don't know. He's a very magnetic fellow. No, yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> not anymore, but. We're talking about he was great in Thirty Rock. Well, you know, so he, they I called mean, his he daughter is. a pig. I know. <laughs> he said all that, other shit. That whole crazy. Ooh. He needs to stay off social media. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he does. It's you know, it's not for everybody. So we've all agreed. Batman v Superman <laughs> Ultimate Edition, <laughs> uh, best superhero. Well, film I still of all haven't time. seen the Ultimate Edition. I had a guy on Twitter who got mad at me. He was like hating on me. He's like, "How dare you? Like, you can't." Talk about the movie if you haven't even seen the ultimate edition. You know, you don't even know what you're talking about. And I'm like, dude, adding I mean, he makes 30, a point. Dude, adding 30 <laughs> minutes no, to that. I'm no. fucking around. <laughs> adding 30 minutes to that is not going to change. Like, you need to take 30 minutes off of that thing, not add more. <laughs> like, oh, man. I mean, so I just Googled okay. best superhero movies. Yeah. Or best comic book movies. Oh, God damn it. And what, what uh, IGN article did you find? No, no, no. I'm just, the Google has like images. The Google. We're dealing with Avengers, yeah. Dark Knight, uh-huh. Spider-Man 2, X2, Guardians of the Galaxy, Dark Knight Rises. Fuck that. So there you go, Dark Knight Rises. No Watchmen. Um, cool. X-Men First Class. No, too many Superman 1, yeah. not 2. No, no, Kick ass. I mean, I can make. I can sit here and I can talk to you for another whole fucking topic about Superman 1 versus Superman 2. Let's move on. I'm go, We're going to move on. <laughs> Superman 1's a great flick, but it does the same thing where it's just like, why do we have to see his origin story again? I know. And, and it's a very, it's a, but a, again, you have to take it back to, yourself back to that time where like, for the first time, you yeah. are seeing Krypton and you are seeing the ship and you are seeing all this different stuff. Mm. Superman 2 just gets the right to business, right? Awesome. Zod. You kidding me? <laughs> you fucking kidding I like, me? What's that what also, name? Superman like comes. Uh, uh, Ursa. Also, yeah. Superman then comes back and fucks some guy up at a diner for no reason. <laughs> 
<laughs> never seen garbage eat garbage before. You're a fucking, you're Superman. Why are you back fucking this guy up? Like, sure, he sucks, but. Well, it's well, it's like that scene in uh in the what was the super Man of Steel? Yeah, where he's oh, working. Oh, he fucks the truck up. He fucks the truck up. And that I like. Just like. No. That I like. No, that's a, he just that's an honest this man's human emotion. But he could have just easily picked him up and put him outside. Instead, he decided to ruin his truck. <laughs> that's kind of like <laughs> messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah, it was totally fucked up, and it wasn't a smart move as far as hiding like, so. Why did you let him humiliate? Like, just pick him up. Like, you're a bouncer. Bounce. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think he like, was actually like a bar back or a busboy. Whatever. I'm just bounce. You, know, I'm just you, you know. can do it. Yeah, you know, you've Henry never Cavell. been up to Alaska like he had. You don't know what it's like up Deadliest there. Deadliest catch. <laughs> and then the whole, like, no, let me die. Like, no, Dad, I'm not going to no, let you die. I can be there in a heartbeat. Like, I no get you back. No one would even know because it's a freaking tornado, and no one's looking. There's like, yeah. it's fine. Ugh. He's like, no, he's like, he's like, this. He's like, no, dad, uh, Smallville season one ended this exact same way. And I saved Lana. So I'll save you too. Cause yeah. it's a fucking goddamn movie where I'm Superman. Mm-hmm.